All week Aston Villa had been urging supporters to keep the faith with a catchy hashtag but in the end, they came face to face with cold reality. There will be no chance to emulate the European Cup winning heroes of 1982, after Aoub El Khabi's double took Olympiacos to the final of the Europa Conference League. Not many teams can recover from a two-goal deficit away from home in Europe, no matter how much they might hashtag believe. Olympiacos will face Fiorentina in the city later this month and Aston Villa must now turn their attention to securing a spot in next season's Champions League. That would be richly deserved reward for an outstanding campaign, in which Unao Emery's men have dealt superbly with injuries to key players. The stadium was bouncing more than two hours before kick-off for what some locals described as the biggest match in Olympiacos history. Nottingham Forest owner Evangelis Marinakis also controls this club and was chewing the fat on the touchline in the hours before kick-off. And the volume only grew as kick-off approached, with Villa treated to a venomous welcome as they came out for their warm-up. With eight first-teamers absent and Clement Langlet the only outfield player on Villa's bench above the age of 21, there was huge responsibility on Emery's starting side. Yet when Olympiacos did win back the ball, they made it count. Daniel Potence's initial cross was cut out by John McGinn but Potence played the loose ball to Quinney, and El Cabi turned home the low cross at the far post. Villa tried to regroup. Carlos berated Ezri Kansa for playing the wrong pass but ahead of him, Douglas Luiz and John McGinn were dictating terms in midfield, pushing Olympiacos back, though Villa's attacks foundered too often because they would not shoot from range. Panagiotis Rizzos was at full stretch to stop Lucas Digny's cross and Chicken Ho made a crucial block from Ollie Watkins. When the Greek side regained the ball, they were too anxious to make a decisive pass and so continued to waste chances to disrupt Villa's rhythm. With so many players missing, Villa were cursing their luck when Leon Bailey stayed down after he was clattered a fraction outside the box by Rodinia. After a delay, the Jamaican climbed to his feet and Louise lifted the free kick too high. Emery was agitated, gesturing at referee Felix Zweier and jabbing his finger the fourth official. On a rare break, the dangerous potence, on loan from Wolves, found Costas Fortaunas 20 yards out, and Martinez saved at the second attempt. When Watkins robbed Rizzo's on the left, Diaby collected the pass and fed Bailey, whose delivery across the face was just missed by the sliding Matty Cash. Despite their lead, Olympiacos were edgy. When four minutes stoppage time were signaled, Quinney raised his arms in disbelief, desperate for the whistle. In the fourth minute of stoppage time, Costas Salakis made a super save from Bailey's deflected strike. Bailey and Diaby switched flanks for the second half and from Bailey's clipped cross, Watkins guided a header just over Salakis' bar. At the other end, Fortaunas wandered in off the right wing before producing a weak shot. So assured in their build-up for most of the first 45 minutes, Villa were a little ragged after the break and Martinez twice found touch with misplaced passes. Then Olympiacos broke incisively and a better pass from El Cabi would have given Santiago has a tap in. By now Johan Duran had replaced Diaby and his first burst forward brought a fumble from Tzalekis. With the game opening up, Watkins had the ball stolen from his toes by David Carmo as he shaped to shoot and El Cabi found himself in a tangle when he had the chance to kill the tie. Then El Cabi was convinced he had brought down by Kansa when clean through, only for play to continue. Perhaps wanting to give his side a shake, Martinez came herring out of goal to intercept a lofted pass and was relieved to earn a free kick after colliding with substitute Giorgios Maso Euros. The match was growing tetchy now, with Digny lucky not to be booked for shoving Rodinia and Luis and Fortaunas squaring up to each other. Cash had kept going all night and when he charged beyond Quinney and into the box, Rizzo's and Salakis combined to concede a corner. It was all over when El Cabi latched onto a long ball and hammered beyond Martinez, with the initial offside call overruled by VAR. There was still time for Salakis to tip Watkins' header over the bar as Villa's dreams faded into the Athenian night. Olympiacos will take on Fiorentina in the UEFA Europa Conference League final in Athens after Aoub El Kabi struck twice to end Aston Villa's hopes of a semi-final second leg comeback.
Aston Villa's European dream is over after losing to Olympiacos in the semi-final of the Europa Conference League. Villa were eyeing a first European final since 1982 but, with the ancient Acropolis in the backdrop of the Stadio Giorgio Scarascakis, their hopes are now in ruins after a 6-2 aggregate defeat. Aston Villa bowed out in the semi-finals of the UEFA Europa Conference League following a 2-0 second leg defeat against Olympiacos, going down 6-2 on aggregate. Villa, trailing 4-2 from last week's first leg, gave it everything as they searched for a route back into the tie, but a brace from Aoub El Kabi, who bagged a hat-trick in the initial meeting, proved the difference. The Olympiacos striker converted an early 10th-minute finish from close range against the run of play, before ending the contest in the latter stages as he broke clear and found the net, with a VAR review ruling him onside. Bonao Emery's side dominated large parts at the Stadio Giorgio Scarascakis, especially in the first half as they enjoyed 80 per center possession. But their quest for a first major European final since 1982 fell just short, with the run, which started in the playoff round against High Hernian in August, the club's maiden journey across the continent for 15 years. Villa will now turn their attention towards securing a top four finish in the Premier League with two matches remaining this season. Fit again goalkeeper Emmy Martinez returned having missed the first leg at Villa Park as well as last weekend's league trip to Brighton and Hove Albion. Martinez's inclusion was one of two changes to Emery's starting 11 from the clash against the Seagulls, with Matty Cash also replacing the injured Morgan Rogers in Piraeus. During his pre-match press conference, head coach Emery described the encounter as the biggest challenge we're going to face this year. And with supporters packing the stands from two hours before kickoff, a raucous atmosphere greeted the two sides as they entered the pitch. Villa made a positive start but it was the hosts who took the lead after 10 minutes as El Kabi converted Quinney's low cross from six yards. Despite the early setback, the visitors responded positively and continued to dominate possession in the opening quarter, Luis testing Costas Salakis from long range. The Villa midfielder subsequently dinked a free kick over the crossbar from the edge of the penalty area just after the half-hour mark. Martinez saved a 25-yard effort from Olympiacos captain Costas Fortaunas, before Leon Bailey sent a teasing ball across the six-yard box which evaded his teammates. The Villa wide man then saw his stinging drive pushed behind by Tzalakis in first half injury time as Emery's side, despite their domination, trailed at the break. Emery introduced Johan Duran in the 58th minute as the villains continued to search for a route back into the semi-final. And the substitute immediately tested Tzalakis while Ezri Kansa headed over from a corner amid further pressure from the visitors. But, with the clock ticking towards the closing stages, El Kabi was sent clear by a long ball from keeper Tzalakis and slotted past Martinez, with the goal awarded following a VAR review. Villa refused to give in and almost got deserved reward in injury time but Ollie Watkins' header was tipped over Tzalakis, as the club's European adventure for 2023-24 came to an end. They travelled to Athens needing a Herculean effort to overturn a 4-2 deficit from the first leg, but limped to a 2-0 defeat on the night, with last week's hat-trick hero Aoub El Kabi scoring the goals which sent the Greek side through to their first ever European final. It concluded a miserable season on the continent for Premier League sides as there is no English representative in a final for the first time since 2019-20 and Unao Emery will see this East as a huge missed opportunity to win a fifth European trophy in a tournament they were favourites for. They will hope not be back in this third-tier competition any time soon as they can seal Champions League qualification at the weekend, which will cap an impressive season. Olympiacos owner Evangelis Marinakis, who also owns Nottingham Forest, was seen celebrating his club reaching the final across the city at the home of deadly rivals AEK Athens in three weeks. Villa's hopes of a comeback were effectively ended after just 10 minutes as El Kabi extended Olympiaco's lead to the sound of a near defeating noise. The Premier League side were sliced open by a long ball, former Wolves attacker Daniel Podens teed up Quinney, whose cross was bundled home by El Kabi. Villa now had to find three goals just to send the tie to extra time and they had plenty of moments in the first half but were missing the quality when they needed it the most. 
Mausa Diaby broke through in the 30th minute after Leon Bailey had been fouled but home goalkeeper Costas Salakis blocked his effort and then Douglas Luiz curled the free kick over when play was brought back. Salakis had to be at his best on the stroke of halftime to claw Bailey's deflected shot over as Villa pushed for one back before the break. They went for it in the second with Johan Duran tamely shooting at Salakis and Ezri Kansa heading over from a corner. They were becoming increasingly desperate, but still could not create any clear-cut chances and the hosts took advantage of big gaps at the back. And El Kabi's fifth goal of the tie in the 81st minute killed it as he raced clear and powered past Emiliano Martinez. It was initially ruled out for offside but VAR overturned the decision. Villa had nowhere to go as they suffered a Greek tragedy, with their Europa Conference League campaign ending in a different part of Athens than they were wanting. Aoub El Kabi struck for the fourth and fifth times in Olympiacos' semi-final tie against Aston Villa as the Greek side up a meeting with Fiorentina in the UEFA Europa Conference League showcase in Athens. El Kabi, scorer of a first-leg hat-trick last week, contributed another two goals as three lows sealed their place in the final. Jose Luis Mandilabar's side took just 10 minutes to extend their lead in the tie, as a swift counter culminated in Quinny crossing for the unmarked Moroccan to tuck away at the far post. Villa looked to respond with Leon Bailey stinging Costas Salaki's palms at the end of the first half, but 30-year-old El Kabi put the tie beyond the Premier League side nine minutes from time when he latched onto Salaki's long kick and fired past Emiliano Martinez. The visitors rarely threatened though Ollie Watkins was denied a late consolation goal by a fine Salakis save. Olympiacos have reached their first ever senior UEFA club competition final with Aoub El Kabi scoring five of their six goals over 180 minutes. Jose Luis Mandilabar's side imposed their tempo on the tie, displaying impressive efficiency in front of goal while pressing well and disrupting Villa's game. It is Loza's biggest achievement in Europe, until the next one. On May 29, they meet Fiorentina in the final, can they become the first Greek side to win a major UEFA club trophy? Jose Luis Mandilabar, Olympiacos coach, when I came to Olympiacos, I did not expect we would go so far in Europe. I was collecting info about the team. However, I slowly started believing that we could do well in the league and in Europe. We worked well, we played well and we deserve to be in the final. I want to thank the club for giving me the opportunity to be here. Aoub El Kabi, Olympiacos striker, speaking to Cosmote TV, I am very happy. It is a big moment, we overcame many difficulties to reach this stage. We were very focused in both legs. We knew that Aston Villa are a great team, but we trusted our abilities. We will keep going and, hopefully, we will play well in the final. Kostas Salakis, Olympiacos goalkeeper, speaking to Cosmote TV, nobody among us expected this feat after a complicated first half of the season. However, day by day, with each training session, we started believing more and more and now we have qualified for a European final for the first time in the club's history. We go into this final as the outsiders, as Fiorentina have the experience of last season's final. Bonau Emery, Aston Villa head coach, speaking to Cosmote TV, Olympiacos deserved to win tonight as well and to qualify. They were the better team in both legs. We lost our opportunity with our performance in the first leg. We then tried to focus on how to negotiate the match in Piraeus. In the first half, we carved out chances and reduced Olympiacos' activity, but they were able to score. John McGinn, Aston Villa captain, Speaking to TNT Sports, we went into this competition as favorites and we handled that throughout the competition. I think it has been a big learning curve for us. It's not been a smooth journey, we got to the semi-final and were down to the bare bones of the squad a bit. After making it through their first ever UEFA competition semi-final, Olympiacos will be the only the second Greek club to play in a major UEFA club competition final, Panathinaikos were the first, reaching the European Cup final in 1971. With 10 goals, Aoub El Kabi is now the standalone top scorer in the season's Europa Conference League, the first player to score a Europa Conference League semi-final hat-trick, 
he has scored 15 times in 18 UEFA club competition games this season, including qualifying. Olympiacos have won 11 games and scored 37 goals in UEFA club competition this season, both club records. Their previous highest goals tally was 24, 2018-19 and 2019-20. Three lows have already won one UEFA final this season, their youth team beat Milan 3-0 in the UEFA Youth League final in Nyon. Villa were playing in only their second UEFA club competition semi-final, their first came in the 1981-82 European Cup when they defeated Anderlecht 1-0 on aggregate, 1-0 H, 0-0 A, on their way to winning the competition. Villa have won only two of their last 11 away European matches, D3 L6, it was only the second time in their last 16 UEFA games that they failed to score. Line UPS Olympiacos, Xalakis, Rodinia, Rizzos, Carmo, Quini, Apostolopola 77, Ibora, Horda 73, Hez, Fortaunas, Chikinho, Potens, Maso Ura 64, El Kabi. Subs, Pascalakis, Papadoudis, El Arabi, Alexandropoulos, Carvalho, Juptic, Precates, Antoy. Aston Villa, Martinez, Cash, Kessler Hayden 86, Consa, Carlos, Iro Egbunam 65, Torres, Digny, Monroe 86, Bailey, Kellyman 86, McGinn, Luis, Diaby, Duran 58, Watkins. Subs, Olsen, Gauki, Lenglet, Patterson, Young. Olympiacos are the nominal home team as they take on Fiorentina in the final in Athens on May 29. Thank you for watching this video.